click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see how to find the maxima and minima value for a given function. For that, we will consider a function say y is equal to f of x which is continuous for a given domain and in that we are going to consider two different types of functions. In the case 1, you can see we are going to find a local maxima value and in the case 2, we are going to find local minima value. In the first diagram, as you can see, if I consider slope of tangent up to x is equal to a for different types of points that are present on the curve, if I draw tangent at every point, that tangent will have a positive slope. But after x is equal to a, if I find the slope of that tangent, again for the different types of point, you can see it will have a negative slope. So whenever we have transition from positive slope to negative slope, it means you are going to find the maximum value of that function. Similarly, in the second case, if you see from the left, if you go up to x is equal to a and if you draw a tangent to each point present on the curve, that slope will be negative. But after x is equal to a, if you draw tangents to the points that are present on the curve, you can see the slope will be positive. So whenever there is a transition from negative slope to positive slope, it means you are going to find the minimum value of the function. Now we are going to see the second derivative test that is used to find maxima and minima. If you can see often, every time it is not possible to draw the graph of a function. So in such case, we are going to see how to find that without using the graphs. And for that, second derivative test is used. Now what is the process? If you need to find the value say like x is equal to a, the first step that you are going to do is find the first derivative, equate it to 0 and get the value of x. After that, you need to find a second derivative. After that, you need to find a second derivative. And in second derivative, just substitute the value of x that is obtained in the first step. Now, from this value, you need to observe. If you get a negative answer by substituting the value of x, it means your function is maximum at that point. And if you are getting a positive answer, it means the function is minimum at that point. So the second derivative test is quite easy to analyze. After substituting these values, if you get a negative answer, it means we have a maximum output. And if you get a positive outcome, it means we have a minimum output. Now let us see where the concept of maxima and minima is used. So the first application you can see, it is used to find the volume of a particular cube or cuboid. Also, it is used to find the surface area of a cube. The next application will be regarding volume of a cylinder. The next application will be the volume for sphere and also its surface area. Also, we are going to see its application for more different types of three dimensional objects like cylinder, cone, etc. In order to solve these problems, you should first memorize the formulas that are required for mensuration, like total surface area of a cuboid and so on. So before learning this topic, the first step that you should do is try to memorize the formulas that are related to three dimensional geometrical objects. I hope friends you have understood this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.